Hey everybody, how's it going? Stoutman coming right back at you, and today I'm going to be talking to you about some Blu-rays that I've picked up over the last little while. I got uh, some special orders in here, some like brand spanking new stuff that literally just got released. I got some cheapo titles. I got a uh, really great deal on Mercari. I got a lot of animation. I got a lot of animated titles here, so uh, yeah. That whole set, let's get right to it, shall we? Because it's some good stuff I got here. So first off, I got Now You See Me Too. Have not actually seen the first one yet, but if you recall, I found it in a uh, ooh, Value Village a few, I think a year ago or something like that. Maybe it was more than a year ago, maybe it was like two years ago. But I found it for a pretty good deal in a value village, and I had seen clips of it online that made me want to watch the movie, so I decided to pick it up, but then I never got around to actually watching it. And then I found this on Amazon for $5, and I was like, wow, $5, that's that's not too bad. I mean, I like the first, or I like the clips that I saw from the first one. I'm guessing I'm going to like the movie enough to want to see the second one and at five dollars it's like you take a shot when it's that low of a price you know what i mean so that was what i did here i took a shot on now you see me too hopefully it's pretty good i mean they've got some really great actors in this one jesse eisenberg mark ruffalo woody harrelson dave franco i mean they got morgan freeman for crying out loud a lot of great actors involved in this one. Next up, another $5 title here that was on Amazon, Hell or High Water. This is one that I've had on my wish list for a little while now because it seemed like a somewhat interesting a, uh, Western that, well, it's a newer Western, right? And I have been enjoying all kinds of Westerns over the past a decade or so, I've been introducing myself more to the genre. So, in that goal, I've been trying to watch all kinds of different westerns, including stuff like this. So, I'm very interested to see how it turned out, how this one was. I know it's gotten some pretty good reviews here and there. And hey, Chris Pine. I love Chris Pine, actually. Like, there's this story about Chris Pine that I really enjoy. And it's about how he got his role in Star Trek as Captain Kirk, right? Originally, he was signed on to do the remake, or not the remake, but like the reboot or reimagining of the A Team. That A Team movie, remember that one? Um, he was signed on to play like one of the main characters in that movie when Paramount called and said, hey, we want you to be Captain Kirk. And the director of the A-Team said to him, well, okay, I'll, I'll let you out of this contract so that you can do that one because that's a big deal. And he's like, I'm not going to let you screw that chance up. So then Chris Pine agreed. Well, he said, okay, well, you're going to have to let me make it up to you at some point. you just got to let me do any movie that you want me to do at any time, any role. You know what I mean? And so, of course, he ends up getting or taking the role in, that he took in uh, Stretch. I don't know if you guys have seen it. It's a great movie, hilarious movie called Stretch. And in that movie, he plays just one of the most hilarious characters you ever see on the screen. <laughs> definitely out of character for what Chris Pine usually does and you'll love it if you ever see the kind of stuff that he's done anywhere else like especially in, like in movies like this or in Star Trek then it is a completely different kind of thing that he did for Stretch and you definitely need to check that out so yeah but I mean because of that I'm a huge fan of Chris Pine because he's one of those kind of actors who's really good to the people he works with so, I mean, can't go wrong there. He's a great guy. And then uh, Ben Foster. I, I think he's one of the better actors that uh, I've discovered in the past 10 to 15 years. He's a great actor. So, some very good stuff here, I think. I haven't seen it yet, obviously, but uh, five bucks, I was going to take a chance. Speaking of westerns, I decided to pick up 
the brand new release of for a few dollars more from Kino Lorber that way now I have all of the uh, well not all of the Sergio Leone movies but you know the, the, the recent ones I've got the Man With No Name trilogy I've got all three of those movies and I've got Fistful of Dynamite but for my money this is the best of the trilogy this is absolutely the best of that original trilogy. Uh, it's got the best music. It's got the best story. Personally, I believe, uh, having watched them all a few times over, I think this is the best one, honestly. I think it has the best ending of all of them. I think it has the best pacing of all of them. The best music of all of them. It's just fantastic. It's such a good movie. So, uh, yes. For a few dollars more is my pick. And throughout the month, I was like, well, this is my birthday month, so... I'm going to treat myself. I'm going to get this, even though I should probably wait for it to go on sale. I'm just going to get it right now, the second it comes out. So, that's exactly what I did. It has a brand new 4K transfer. So, there's some good stuff there. It has a boatload. A boatload of special features. So, yes. Very happy to have this one in my collection now and to complete that trilogy. Next up, I have a great deal and a warning for anybody. Just something that really will make me look like a complete and total slob and an idiot. So, I know a lot of people are going to love this one. Decided to pick up Prince of Egypt on Blu-ray. This is part of that new uh, DreamWorks line. And it went down to about $6.99 on Amazon. It was the only one I saw on Amazon that went down to $6.99 or even lower than $10 at any point in recent history. So I was like, holy crap, $6.99, that's a really good movie. Whether or not you believe in the religious story, I c that is secondary to me. I couldn't care less about that. I care more about whether or not the movie is actually good. And this movie is really good and the special effects uh, for early CGI animation still look freaking phenomenal to this very day so you're damn skippy I wanted to have this in high definition and I've been happy to see that I was happy to see that they brought this out with their releases from DreamWorks from the late 90s and onward uh, recently so yes very happy to have been able to get this especially for such a good deal Six ninety nine, dollars such a great deal but you may have noticed a little issue here. You may have noticed like a little bit of kind of crinkling in the artwork there. Gee, how did that happen? Well, you see, I had some hot and steamy food. <laughs> I had some really hot food and I was in the middle of doing some other stuff. And at a moment's notice, I ended up plopping it down on top of this. Because I had this out in a pile of stuff, this pile of stuff, that I was going to talk about in a review, right? So I was like, well, this is as good as any place to put it, put the food for now on top of here. And then I ended up forgetting about it and leaving it on there for like 10 minutes. And that's all it takes, guys. You leave it on there for 10 minutes, and I didn't think there was anything wrong. Come back to it hours later and find out, oh, that steam has destroyed the artwork. Like, it didn't even really get wet. It's just the steam alone did that to you. So, there's your warning, folks. <laughs> you gotta be very, very careful with uh, Blu-rays. Don't ever put anything hot or steamy near your Blu-rays. There's your warning. I was just being stupid, really. That's the only real truth there. Next up, I decided to get Long Way North. I know some of you are saying, what the hell even is that? Well, uh, I saw it go to a really low price on Amazon. And I was like, what is that? What? I don't even know what that movie is. I've never heard of it. And then I looked into it a little bit more and I found out after watching the trailer, as you can see from the top here, made by the same animators and the same animation team who did Song of the Sea and Secret of Kells. And at that point, I was completely and totally 120 billion percent sold. Because... I love that company. I love their work. I loved The Secret of Kells. I loved Song of the Sea even more than Secret of Kells. So I'm like, this company has been up to some really good stuff, right? Like, this is 
one of those companies I put up there with like Leica when it comes to original, creative, interesting uh, animation style. So when I found out that they were the ones behind this movie, it's just like, well, pff, I have to get this then. And it was a really good price. I think it's still a really good price on Amazon right now. It's like uh, 6 dollars or something like that. So definitely worth it. And hey, it came with the slipcover. So that's always nice. Next up, I got Rick and Morty, the complete seasons one through three. This one I got from Mercari. I found it for a really good deal. I think it was like 26 bucks, 25 bucks, one of those two. Uh, this just came out. This full season release just came out recently, like a couple of months ago. And it's still going for like 40 to 50 at the lowest. So be being able to find it on Mercari for 25, 26 bucks was insane. It's hard to find like each individual season set for less than $10. But I managed to get each individual season here in this new box set here for less than $10 per season. So I was just like, um, hell yes, Rick and Morty is awesome and that's an amazing deal. Yeah, overall I would say very, very happy with this release. Very happy that I got this for such a freaking fantastic deal. And then last, but certainly not least, all the way from the United Kingdom and from Arrow Video themselves, the limited edition copy of Crimson Peak. Oh yeah. This was another birthday present to myself gift because I saw that the... Uh, the U.S. version of this limited edition release of Crimson Peak was already out of print. But for whatever reason, the uh, the original U.K. version of this was not out of print. So I, so I was like, well, if the U.S. version is already out of print and it's limited edition, so they're not going to make another print run, then I got to get it while I can. So I just bought it off the U.K. website and said, well... There we go. And uh, yes, it is very, very nice. That's just uh, opening the box per se. But uh, if you, I don't know if you can tell here, it's got one of those nice little uh, ribbons so that you can pull everything out. And when you do, the uh, the actual movie itself comes, or not the, I don't think this is a movie, this is the uh, book. Yeah, this is a book. That kind of comes in its own little slip cover here. So, very cool stuff. And I just really, I got this for the artwork. Because look at that freaking incredible artwork. And yes, that is a hardcover book. It is beautiful. And uh, it's kind of like a digit book. Uh, and encased in the whole thing with a whole bunch of like, you know, information about the movie and whatnot inside. It's very nice. Very, very nice. And then they've got some art cards in addition to the movie. The movie's at the bottom of the box. It's not that big of a deal. It's just the disc. Uh, but, you know, they've got a bunch of art cards. Those ones. And then the poster itself for the movie, which I'm not going to unfold because this is a collector's item. I don't feel like unfolding the collector's item poster and therefore never being able to get it to be in as good a shape as it is right now, ever again. <laughs> Not worth it to me. I got this because it's a collector's item. Sorry. But, uh, yeah. Very, very happy with this pickup. This one is, for sure, one of the nicer things in my collection. Now, now I don't know if it'll accrue in value very much. But uh, I do know it's probably one of the nicer editions of this movie that will ever come out. This may, in fact, at some point, get a Criterion release. I don't think it will, but it may. It could. I know Gilmer del Toro is working with Criterion, so anything is possible. But <laughs> I honestly kind of am, I'm almost am hoping it doesn't, because then this would get a lot of value. When it goes out of print, it would become very valuable and very expensive. 
and I would have a very nice rare collector's piece. Yay! Either way, whatever happens with it, it's definitely a nice uh, addition to my collection. Just a nice gift to myself for my birthday. So, yes, very happy with this one. I love it, though. I love that. I got it because of the artwork, guys. Look at that incredible, incredible artwork. That's just phenomenal. And it's a great movie, too. I think I gave it like an 8 out of 10 after I first saw it. But yeah, it's definitely one of the best uh, gothic movies, gothic gothic story films that we have seen in this country in a long time. So, yes, very happy with that. And very happy with these pickups in general. So in total, in total, I got a real mishmash or my, mishmash or whatever the heck the phrase is of items here. Got Crimson Peak from Arrow. I got uh, Now You See Me Too and Hell, Hell, on, Hell or High Water for $5 each. I got uh, for a few dollars more the brand new release from Kino Lorber there. I got Prince of Egypt which is a fantastic movie and I got it for a great deal. Got Long Way North which is a movie from the same people who did Song of the Sea and The Secret of Kells, so I'm excited to see that one. And then finally, Rick and Morty, The Complete Seasons 1 through 3. Cool stuff, I think. So anyways, that'll do it for me, everybody. That's everything. So thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you later. Peace.